What's going on guys, Matty Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an update of what's going on in the aquaponics system. We're gonna plant some lettuce and I've got an exciting announcement to make concerning upcoming videos in the future. Let's get stuck into the video. Now, as many of you may be aware, there has been a significant downpour of rain, particularly in Southeast Queensland, and well, pretty much for all of the East Coast of Australia lately. It's just been bucketing down and it has not stopped. It's been relentless and it's continued for the last two to three months now. Unfortunately, as a result of that, I've lost a whole lot of plants, not only in the aquaponic system, but also in the ground garden around the other side of the backyard. As a result of all of that rain, there has been a lot of dampening off in the plants, a lot of root rot, and as a result of that, many of the plants just have not been able to make it. Nevertheless, we do have a few stragglers, which is good out of all of the broccoli and cauliflower that were in this bed, and there were about 10 plants. I only have these two cauliflower plants left. As you would have seen in the previous video, all the bok choy was harvested in time, as well as the spinach around the other side of the yard, but all that's left in this bed now is these cherry tomatoes, and actually, they're doing pretty well. A few of these cherry tomatoes will be ripening up very quickly in the near future, and I'm looking forward to at least getting something extra out of this bed. But anyway, let's have a look at the fish, we'll give them a feed. And as you can see, they are looking incredibly happy, packing on the size. Now, no doubt the fish here in the aquaponic system are not going to be eating anywhere near as much in the winter. Here in Australia, it is coming on to winter just next month, and already the fish have been slowing down when it comes to the amount of feed that they're consuming. The temperature is dropping significantly here of a night time, getting down to about 14 degrees. And these jade perch genuinely go off the feed or at least eat a lot less frequently when the temperature drops below 18 or 19 degrees. Nevertheless, they're still eating for now. And that's a thumbs up from me. Well, it's starting to get dark. And while we still have just a little bit of light, I'm gonna go ahead and whack the lettuce in this aquaponics bed over here that the cherry tomatoes are in. Let's get into it. Now guys, these lettuce here are a green oak leaf variety, which I just picked up from the local hardware store. And when it comes to putting them in the aquaponic system out of the punnets here, in as much as they've been germinated in soil, I just quickly take them out of the punnet and give the soil a quick rinse in some rainwater here, which I have in the bucket. You could just put them straight into the bed. At the end of the day, it's really up to personal preference. Leave it on, take it off, it's up to you. I've given them a rinse, but as you can see here, I'm not being too fussy with how much of the soil I actually get off. One of the reasons I love aquaponics is due to the fact that it's so easy to plant your plants into the grow media. Now the light here is not amazing, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's coming on dark. Let's hurry up and get these into the grow bed. Simply pull back the soil, put the roots in the water, and backfill around it. It's as simple as that. Well, that got super dark, stupid quick. So here I am in front of the quail cage, got my little light in order to do the outro of the video. As you see, I've got some IBCs in the back there lined up with the aquaponics system. And the reason I have those IBCs is I'm building a new aquaponics system. Now, I'm not replacing the current aquaponics system I have. Instead, I'm actually adding to it. Now, you might be asking yourself, mate, your aquaponics system's already pretty big. Do you really need another one? And the fact of the matter is, well, while I don't need another one, another one isn't really gonna hurt. So I am going to build one. Is it because I need one? No. Is it because I want one? Well, yes. But at the end of the day, the real reason I'm building another one is because there are a number of you who have been watching my videos, others on social media platforms who have been asking me how I made my 
aquaponic system. It's a shift piss system, which is an acronym for constant height in the fish tank and the pump in the sump tank. Also known as a chop system, constant height one pump. And in as much as some of you have actually asked how I built that system, I'm going to go ahead and replicate that system. However, instead of using the grow beds which I have on the current system, I'm going to make four grow beds out of IBC containers. There'll be the fish tank, a radial flow filter, four grow beds and a sump tank down the bottom. Now while I would love to just go ahead and cram all of that content into one video, the fact of the matter is it would probably be a massive video well and truly over an hour and a half long. So instead of doing that, what I plan to do is film various aspects of the build as I go and upload those videos individually. Then at the end, once I've completed the build, I'll go ahead and compile all those videos together and upload a final video with all of the content. That's the plan anyway, we'll see how we go. If you haven't already, why don't you go ahead, hit the subscribe button, make sure you do hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time a new video goes live. And while you're at it, give the video a thumbs up, that helps the YouTube algorithm and helps out my channel in the process. I'd also like to take this opportunity to celebrate with you all. We just hit 200 subscribers and I am super appreciative of every single one of you who has gone ahead and subscribed to the channel. It means a lot. Now when it comes to talking about subscribers, there are various reasons as to why someone would want to subscribe to my channel in the first place. You obviously have yours and so why don't you let me know in the comment section below so that I can be mindful of what videos to release in the future. Some of you have subscribed to the channel because of the quails, others have subscribed because of the aquaponics and then there are those of you who have subscribed for both reasons, aquaponics, quail, self-sufficiency and gardening in general. Thanks again for all the support and we'll catch you in the next video.